guys, we're Kathy and Puria, an Indo-Persian couple living in Vienna. If you've been following our channel, you know that we love sharing insights about life in this incredible city. Today, we're diving into a topic that we've been asked about frequently the cost of living in Vienna in 2023. Vienna, the capital of Austria, is a city of elegance, culture, and historical richness. Known for its classical music, stunning architecture, and high quality of life, Vienna has been a preferred destination for people around the world. But living in such a beautiful city comes at a cost. And that's what we'll explore in this in-depth analysis of the cost of living in Vienna in the year 2023. As of this year, Vienna continues to be a city of great interest for students, expats, and those looking to embrace its rich heritage. However, before you embark on your journey to this charming metropolis, it's essential to understand the financial aspect of the daily life here. If you're just looking for some quick facts like the price of half a liter of beer in a restaurant, that's 4 euros 30, or a Big Mac at McDonald's, that's 4 euros 70s, well, there you have it. But if you're in for a comprehensive guide, stick around. We're going to break down the key components of living expenses in Vienna, including housing, groceries, dining, transportation, and even leisure activities. By the end of this video, you'll have a realistic understanding of what it takes to call Vienna home in 2023. So whether you're contemplating a move to Vienna or are just curious about the cost of Vienna in this majestic city, let's dive into the specifics and uncover what it truly entails. Number 1. Housing Costs Vienna's housing market is often praised for its affordability compared to the other major European cities. However, the ongoing wave of inflation has also impacted the Viennese housing market. In 2023, renting a two-bedroom apartment in the inner district can typically range from around 1,200 euros and upwards. Prices can vary depending on the location and condition of the apartment, of course. If you're looking for a more budget-friendly alternative, you might want to explore housing options on the outskirts of the city, such as the 21st, 22nd or the 23rd districts, where prices can be around 20% lower. In addition to rent, there are utility costs to keep in mind. These typically include heating, electricity, and hot water. So for an 85 square meter apartment, it can set you back around 200 euros per month. So definitely keep that in mind. So our total average housing costs would sum up to 1,400 euros per month. Number two, groceries and food. Vienna offers a variety of supermarkets and local markets where you can do your grocery shopping. We prefer ordering our groceries online and we mainly rely on Billa online shop and Guokal.at. Both are super reliable and offer flexible delivery options. In our household with two hungry toddlers, we spend around 250 euros per month on groceries. Of course, your grocery bill can vary significantly based on your shopping habits, dietary preferences, and whether you opt for local or international brands. We're passionate cappuccino drinkers and our kids adore cornflakes and porridge with milk, so we do have an above-average milk consumption at home. Vienna also boasts a vibrant culinary scene with restaurants, cafes and street food stalls. Dining out can range from affordable to luxurious, depending on your choices. As a family, we tend to opt for quick and uncomplicated dining, but when we do visit restaurants, we usually spend around 20 to 25 euros per person for a memorable dinner. If we add it up, we typically spend around 200 euros on either restaurant visits or food delivery from apps like Foodora. We usually order food at least once a week, which makes a total of monthly costs for groceries and food 450 euros. Number 3. Public transportation costs. Vienna's public transportation system is renowned for its efficiency. An annual ticket for unlimited use of trams, buses and subways costs around 365 euros, which is incredibly affordable compared to other major European cities. The public transportation network in Vienna is indeed a blessing. If you love biking, you can save 100% of your transportation costs 
as Vienna has excellent bike lanes throughout the city. However, when taking your bike in the first district, be mindful of the restrictions. Puri actually had to learn this the hard way very recently. If you're planning a short visit to Vienna, the Vienna City Card is a must-have. It provides you with unlimited access to public transportation network and offers cool discounts on various attractions. You can find our affiliate link in the description below, which helps us support our channel at no additional cost to you. We personally rarely use the public transportation way as we either ride the bike to the office or take the car. But we occasionally buy single trip tickets if we need the public transportation system. So on average, our monthly public transportation costs would add up to around 30 euros per month. Number 4. Car ownership costs. If you decide to own a car in Vienna, be prepared for expenses such as fuel, insurance, parking, and tolls. Fuel prices are around 1 euro 60 per liter, and car insurances can vary significantly depending on your driving history and the type of car you're owning. Just for reference, a BMW with 150 horsepower can cost you more than 120 euros per month for just a basic insurance. A few years ago, we made the decision to invest in an electric vehicle. Until now, we're really happy with that decision as we currently save around 50% on fuel costs and pay only a fraction of the insurance cost compared to owning a traditional car. We used to pay 120 euros per month for our car insurance for our BMW. But with the electric vehicle, we just pay around 30 euros for the same basic coverage. If you want more details about advantages and disadvantages of owning an electric vehicle in Vienna, let us know in the comments below. Do you actually need a car in Vienna, you may ask? Well, it's not an easy question and that's why we've made a video on that topic some time ago. So make sure you click on the link above to watch the video if you're interested. So to sum it up, our monthly car ownership costs for an electric vehicle add up to around 80 euros per month. Number five, childcare costs. Childcare in Vienna is technically free with only a small fee for daily lunch and snacks. However, there are also plenty of private and semi-private institutions who charge you a hefty fee. Depending on your preferences, those fees can range from 200 euros up to 1000 euros a month. Our monthly childcare cost for two kids for a semi-private kindergarten would add up to 400 euros per month. Number 6. Healthcare costs. Healthcare in Vienna is known for its good quality with health insurance being mandatory for all residents. The cost of health insurance varies based on your income and is automatically deducted from your salary. Your mandatory medical insurance covers all doctor visits and necessary surgeries in the hospital. However, it's limited to basic medical needs and doesn't include medication and beauty surgeries. Medication costs can add up and Social Security only covers a small fraction of these expenses. You also have the option to sign up for private medical insurance, which sits on top of your mandatory social security system and can cost you around 50 euros per month for an entry-level private insurance. The more services you want to include, the higher the costs become. It's a complex topic, so let us know in the comments below if you're interested and we can cover it in more detail in one of our upcoming videos. Do subscribe to make sure you don't miss out. So our monthly healthcare and medication costs without any private insurance would add up to around 80 euros per month. Number 7. Entertainment costs. Vienna is a hub for arts and culture and attending a movie or a theater performance is a popular form of entertainment. A cinema ticket typically costs around 12 euros. Concerts have increased in prices recently we remember paying around 60 euros for standing tickets at the Ed Sheeran concert we visited in 2019. Same tickets and same venue cost around 95 euros in 2022. Call it the power of inflation, I guess? So our monthly entertainment costs would sum up to around 100 euros per month. Number 8. Internet and mobile services. Internet packages are surprisingly very affordable in Vienna with an average cost of 25 to 35 euros per month for a standard plan. Mobile phone services, including calls and data, 
are also competitively priced with monthly packages starting at around 10 to 15 euros. You can even get a mobile plan with 50 gigabytes of data for 10 euros per month with great connectivity and no binding period. That's really unique and we haven't really experienced similar pricings anywhere outside of Austria. So if you have seen a cheaper internet or mobile plans, please let us know in the comments below. So our monthly internet and mobile services costs would sum up to around 60 euros per month. Conclusion. So here is your comprehensive overview of what to expect regarding the cost of Vienna. Let's do the math together. Average housing costs 1,400, our monthly cost for groceries and food 400, monthly public transportation costs 30 euros, monthly car ownership costs, but noted it's an electric vehicle, 80 euros per month, our monthly childcare costs for two kids is 400 euros, monthly healthcare and medication costs 80 euros per month without any private insurance, our monthly entertainment costs would be around 100 euros. Monthly internet and mobile services costs around 60 euros. So sum that all up for a household with two adults and two kids, that would be a total of 2,550 euros. Vienna's enchanting blend of the old and new, coupled with its manageable living costs, makes it an attractive destination for people from all walks of life. We hope this guide has been informative and helpful in preparing you for a Vienna journey. If it has, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. See you guys in the next video. Bye!